weather generally means spending more time outside, but for the residents of one neighborhood in Saratoga Springs, an invasive moth species is making going out in their yards, let's say, less than enjoyable. Downright creepy crawly. News 10's Connell Smith speaking with those residents about what their concerns are over the invasive spongy moth. I feel like they really need to see what we're dealing with here. Properties throughout the Geyser Crest development in Saratoga Springs are covered in hundreds of these insects. The invasive spongy moth. This year it's like it exploded 10,000 times more where you can't even go outside. The spongy moth is a non-native insect from France which feeds on the leaves of a variety of trees, especially oak, leaving them bare at a time when they're usually verdant in the spring and summer. Normally we get a beautiful canopy shade of shade um, in the summer and we don't have that because they look exactly like these, like it's fall. There's no leaves on them. Um, so I, th I, th I do think it's probably the oak trees um, because that's what they eat the most of. According to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, elevated populations of the spongy moth caterpillars were especially high in Saratoga and Warren counties last summer. DEC says the hair on the back of the caterpillars can cause skin irritation for some people. Megan Caldwell, who also lives in the Geyser Crest development, says this summer is much worse than last. There's thousands of them. They're all over the trees. They're all in my flowers. They're on my shed. It's, and we have been told by the DEC that there's certain things you can use. You can take your trees. Um, you can use like a BT spray, but unfortunately it's more of like kill on contact rather than preventative. So they, there's so many of them, they just keep coming back. The DEC says the moths have naturalized in New York forests since they were introduced in the late 1860s. They also say they do not typically manage spongy moth outbreaks except in ecologically or culturally significant forests, nor do they provide funding to combat them on private property. But residents of this neighborhood are hoping someone can help them deal with the infestation. In Saratoga Springs, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.